Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy with a follow-up or a part two video today. So in part one, we added the N8N MCP server to Claude Desktop. This gave Claude the superpowers and the tools it needed to build N8N automation workflows for us in Claude Desktop. In today's part two, I'm gonna show you how to import the same N8N MCP server that we added to Claude Desktop, only import it and use it with Claude Code. The prerequisites, or what today's tutorial assumes that you already have. One, Claude Desktop in the N8N MCP server already added. And if you don't, go watch part one, where I walk you through step by step how to add the N8N MCP server to Claude Desktop an N8N account and Claude Code installed and running on your computer. And if you haven't yet installed Claude Code, I will also leave a link to a tutorial where I walk you through exactly how to get up and running with Claude Code. Step one, we're going to import or add the same N8N MCP server from Claude Desktop to Claude Code. This is going to give Claude Code the tools that it needs for up-to-date knowledge and access to all of the N8N nodes, all of the properties, the operations, all of the documentation, all of the AI tools that are available as nodes, and the entire N8N template library. Next, we will create a Claude.md file and add the Claude project setup instructions. This is going to tell Claude Code exactly how to use all of the tools that are available in the N8N MCP server. I will also leave a link in the description to a tutorial all about the Claude.md files. I'll show you how you can check the status of MCP servers in Claude Code and how to remove the N8N MCP server if you ever decide you want to remove it from Claude Code. And finally, we will test out Claude Code and have it build us an N8N automation workflow by entering in a text prompt in Claude Code. Just like we did in the Claude Desktop tutorial, we will start on the N8N MCP GitHub repository. This is the same repo, so if you're doing a search, just make sure that you have the same developer as you see here. And if you look over here in the About section, you will see this is an MCP for Claude Desktop, Claude Code, Windsurf, and Cursor, and it is to build N8N workflows. We're gonna scroll past all of the instructions that we used in the Claude Desktop tutorial. Just keep scrolling down until you see the section connect your IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. These are the tools where you run Claude Code. I'll click on Claude Code. That is gonna open up a new page. Here we are on the Claude Code setup. I'm just gonna scroll below. Since we've already added it to Claude Desktop, we are looking for this option one, import from Claude Desktop. So this is if you already have an N8N MCP configured in Claude Desktop, which we do. I'm going to copy this little snippet of code. You can also just click the icon to the right, which will copy it to your clipboard. I have opened up Terminal from my Applications folder on my Mac. I am in the home directory currently. I'm just going to click and paste in that snippet of code and tap the return key. So the command that we ran in Terminal is looking at Claude Desktop for all the available MCP servers that can be imported. So in my case, it found one MCP server in Claude Desktop. If you had multiple MCP servers installed, well, you would just use the spacebar to select the one that you want. Then you would tap the Enter or Return key to confirm. You can tap the Escape key if you want to cancel out of this. I'll tap the Return key successfully imported one MCP server to local config. Awesome. I am currently in my home directory or my home folder on my Mac, but I wanna launch Claude Code in a project folder where I'm going to keep all of my N8N workflows that Claude Code builds for me. So for that, I'm gonna change directories in terminal and navigate to a project folder. You might know this little trick. If you right click, go to services, you can choose new terminal at folder. 
that's going to open up a new terminal window and it's going to put you in that folder location. So that's a good shortcut. But there's another cool shortcut that you might not know about. If I type CD for change directory, I'll tap space. Now I'm going to select this folder and I'm just going to drag it right on there. That's taking me to that directory and it keeps it in the same window here. I'll tap return. So now I am in the project folder that I want. Pretty cool. Let's launch Claude code. I'm just going to type out Claude. C-L-A-U-D-E. Tap return. Yes, I want to proceed. I'll just tap return again. Now I'm in Claude code. Welcome back. Now let's create the Claude.md file and add the Claude project setup instructions. And Claude code knows what we're doing. You can see in the tips for getting started, it's telling me to run a forward slash init to create a Claude.md file with instructions for Claude, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm just going to put my cursor forward slash init, I-N-I-T. You can see that's going to initialize a new Claude.md file with code based documentation. Tap return. Do you want me to create the file? One for yes. Two, if you want it to make all the changes for the rest of the session, which I want. So I'll tap two. And now it's creating the Claude.md file and that will be located in the project folder. Go back to the main GitHub repository and you're going to go to the Claude project setup section to copy all these instructions to your clipboard. Click on the icon in the top right corner of the code that is going to copy everything to your clipboard. I've got a finder window open and I've navigated to the project folder where I launched Claude code from. And when I open this up, there will be the Claude.md file that I just created. So I'm going to open this and you can use any text editor or code editor. I'll right click open and I'm just going to use Typora. So I'm going to keep it named Claude.md. That's important. But I'm going to delete everything that I created here. This is basically placeholder text at this point. And I'm just going to paste in that code that should be on my clipboard. And just make sure you save. So file, save. And now I can close this. So now whenever I'm working on projects inside of this N8N workflows folder, Claude code is going to follow these rules. And now let's check the status of the MCP servers and see if there's anything else that we need to do for Claude code. Let's run this first one. Command C, tap return. It's telling me the MCP server is not set up. Would you like help? Yes. Please help me set up N8N-MCP server imported from Claude desktop. It's whatchamacallitin. So yes, allow. Perfect. The N8N MCP server has been successfully added to Claude code. I ran the exact same command to list all the MCP servers again that the N8N MCP is connected and it even listed my custom domain to N8N. So I am connected in Claude code to my instance of N8N. Very cool. And if you're wondering how did Claude code know the URL to my instance of N8N? Well, when I added the N8N MCP server to Claude Desktop, we went to the Claude Settings, then went to the Developer tab, and we added the Claude Desktop config file. And in this config file, we added the N8N URL and the N8N API key. So when we initially imported this into Claude Code from Claude Desktop, it brought in that config file settings. And if you ever want to remove the N8N MCP server, you can just enter this little snippet of code in a terminal window. And now let's test out Claude code in the N8N MCP server. And I'm going to enter this prompt and have Claude code build an N8N automation workflow. In this workflow, I want to be able to send a telegram message that says tutorial and then just enter an idea for my tutorial and have it return a markdown file with a tutorial idea outline. So I'm going to select the prompt, command C and paste, tap return and it's razzmatazzing. So do you want to create it? Yes. I'm going to tap two. I just wanted to allow edits so I don't have to keep giving it permission. 
I'm going to trust Claude Code here because it's pretty brilliant. It's now slithering. This is actually pretty awesome. So Claude Code created an N8N workflow called Telegram Tutorial Generator. Then it gave me an outline of the flow that it created in N8N. So there's a Telegram trigger. So it's waiting for a message from Telegram. If the message contains tutorial, well then it knows to generate an outline. And in the outline, it's going to include a hook, an introduction, a couple bullet points, conclusion, and a timestamp. It's then going to convert the file to Markdown and it's going to send the Markdown file back to me in a Telegram message. And then it gives me the instructions on how to import the workflow that it created into N8N. So it's telling me to go to my custom URL. Then I'm going to click Import from File. I'm going to select the JSON file that Claude Code created and Claude Code put that JSON file in my project folder. I'm going to then configure the credentials because Claude Code or Claude Desktop does not have access to your saved credentials or your personal data on N8N. So I'm going to set the Telegram credentials and then I'm going to activate the workflow so I can use it on all of my devices that have Telegram installed. And then it is telling me exactly how to use the workflow. So it's telling me to send a Telegram message with an example. So put tutorial colon and then whatever you want the name of the tutorial and it is going to send me back an MD or a markdown file ready for my Obsidian Vault. So all we need to do is import this JSON file into N8N or I'm going to show you the cool way to do it. I'm going to open it up with a text editor. I'm just going to select all of the code in the JSON file. So Command A, I'm going to copy it to my clipboard, Command C. I am signed into my N8N instance. I'm going to go in the top left corner and click on plus and choose workflow to create a new blank workflow. Now the import method that it told me to do is to come up here and click the ellipsis in the top right corner, choose import file, and then select the JSON file. But since I copied all the code, I'm going to do it the cool way. I'm just going to paste everything from my clipboard into N8N. How cool is that? We have an N8N automation workflow built to us by Claude Code. And it looks like all we have to do is just set our credentials for the Telegram nodes. So I'm just going to click. I have those saved, so I'm just going to choose them. Now to send messages in a Telegram bot, you also have to add a chat ID. I'm going to double click this. And in the chat ID, I'm going to enter my personal chat ID, but I'm not going to show you. I'm going to activate the workflow. So I'll click the toggle. I'm going to open Telegram on my Mac. I've got my AI mic bot that I created with Botfather. I'll click start. All I need to do to start the N8N workflow is to send a Telegram message that starts with tutorial followed by a colon. So I'll type tutorial colon. I'm just going to put test. I'm going to send the message that should wake up the node or the automation workflow in about two seconds. I got a file back with an outline to make edits to your workflows. You're just going to chat back and forth with Claude code. It'll just update the JSON file and you can re import it into N8N. When you're done, you're just going to type exit in Claude code at any time. If you want to go back in and make some edits or changes to an N8N workflow that Claude code already created for you, or maybe you want to create a new N8N workflow at some point, well, all you have to do is go to your project folder, open that project folder in terminal, launch Claude. And if you ever just want to confirm that the N8N MCP server is still connected when you are in Claude code, all you have to do is just enter in the forward slash, then MCP. So MCP, tap return. The N8N MCP is connected. You can tap enter to view more details or tap the escape key. And now you are ready to edit or create new N8N workflows with Claude Code. And that is how to import the N8N MCP server with all of the tools and the configuration settings to Claude Code. My name is Mike Murphy, your AI handyman. Cheers.